My name is Vikri and in this video, we are going to be talking about using smart numbers to solve questions on the GI. So this question on the screen is based on fraction and is a numeric entry question, which means there are no options given to us. So we need to solve this question, find the answer and type the answer in the box. Also, this is a pretty simple question. So let us read and understand the question. Also, I would suggest you to pause this video, take 30 seconds or a minute and try to solve this question. Then you can resume your video from here. So let's get started. The question is, a tank has to be filled with water. Of the total, 5A fills one third of the tank, B fills one fourth of the remaining, and C fills one fifth of the remaining. What fraction of the tank still needs to be filled with water? So let us discuss one of the most common approaches that a lot of students follow to solve this particular question. Since the total has not been given to us over here, so what a lot of students do is, they take the total value as X. So let's solve this further. What happens if we total if we take the total value as x? Now, 5a fills one third of the tank. So a we can say fill one third of x. Right? Okay. B fills one fourth of the remaining. Now a point to be noted here is that this is not one fourth of the total. That is not one fourth of x, but this is one fourth of the remaining. So we firstly need to find out what fraction still needs to be filled in the bottom. So that will be equal to x minus one third of x, which is equal to two third of x. Because one third of x was already filled by 5a, right? So b fills one fourth of two third of x. So one fourth of two third of x, this would be equal to two upon 12 x. In its simplest form, this can be written as one sixth of x, right? So now c fills one fifth of the remaining. Again, this is not one fifth of the total, this is one fifth of the remaining. So again, on finding the remaining part, this will be equal to two third of x minus one sixth of x. Taking six as the LCM, we get four x minus x over six, which is three x over. On its simplest form, this can be written as x over two, correct? Okay, so half of the time has already been filled now, and C fill one fifth of half of x. So C fills one fifth of x over root, which is equal to x over 10. So the question is what fraction of the tank still needs to be filled in with water? On finding the total or on finding the remaining part that still needs to be filled in with water, this could be equal to x over 2 minus x over 10. So again, taking 10 as the LCF, this will be 5x minus x over 10, which is 4x over 10. In its simplest form can be written as 2x over 5. So this part is still left to be filled in with what? So the fraction is 2x over 5 divided by x since we are taking the total value as x. Right? Okay. So the answer to this question is 2. Now I'm not saying that this approach is wrong. The answer to this question is 2 over 5. But is there any easier approach than this? Okay, there is. We'll be discussing this. In fact, if you had taken the total value as x or some other number, or, for example, 1 or 200, you would eventually have gotten the same one, that is 2. But what is the most convenient number to be chosen by dealing in fractions? In this question, there are three fractions mentioned. 1 third, 1 fourth, and 1 third. You can make this a habit. By dealing with fraction, you can take the total as product of the denominators. Let's see what happens if we take the total as product of 3, 4, and 5. So 3 times 4 times 5 is 16. Now, 16 might seem to be an odd number or a weird number at first because who takes the total as right? But let's see how it makes our work easier. So A fills one third of 60, which is equal to 20. Now see, we are dealing with integers and it is better to deal with integers than dealing with fractions because we tend to make mistakes by dealing with fractions, right? So A fills 20. Now the remaining part that shall each be filled in with water is equal to 60 minus 20 that is equal to 40. Of this, B fills 1 4. So 1 fourth of 40 is equal to 10. Now this is very simple now, right? The remaining part of the time that still needs to be filled in with water would be 40 minus 10, which is 30. Of 30, C fills 1 fifth. So 1 fifth of 30 is equal to 6. And the remaining part that still needs to be filled in with water would be 30 minus 6, which is 24. 
So here we have the answer again. The part or the fraction that filtration will fill in with water is equal to 24 out of the total that is 60. So 24 over 60 is 2 over y. We so got in the same answer again 2 over y. So you can make it a habit while dealing with in while dealing with fractions. Take the total as product of the denominator. It makes our work very easy. Right? So that was it for this particular video from my side. If you have any question related to this question or any other question of the GRE exam, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll be happy to help you out. So I'll see you soon with another video. Thank you.